What's up, guys? It's, um, we're going to talk about game dev. There's something really exciting, and this is new, new discovery, and I think it's, it's new to everyone. No one, not a lot of people have thought about this, and this is something I can bring to the table and get a lot of people on board because this this got me really excited when I once I really started thinking into it and I'm thinking why don't more people do this do people do this or are people doing this are they sleeping on this do they are they even aware about it and I, th I think they're not aware so how can people be more aware about this so this is what this video is for is so people can be more aware about it and I'll get, we'll get really into it in this video. This video is only going to be like 10 minutes long. So this is for like the new nuance of game developing. Uh, also intermediate and pro. So if you're sort of easing into it, okay, cool. If you already have a few months, that's cool too. Maybe a few years. Maybe you just didn't know. Maybe you're so narrow-minded to it that you didn't see the other things about it. Or maybe you just didn't have time. And this guy had time. So to make your life a lot easier to for your game development to improve way more so much more from maybe from here to way over here now because of this so yeah like this if i was a game developer and and uh, experienced too but i have time to like really look at things and if i had and i found this video um uh, early on man i'd be really like thankful like like, oh, what a relief. Like, so much weight off my shoulders. Because this video is going to be insightful. This video is going to show some some videos, some screen recording uh, of my notes. And and also, uh, also communicating with the chat. Oh, the chat, um, the chat AI. Chat BT. So, yeah, you'll see. You see what uh, uh, what questions I, I prompted in, and I had to communicate with that chat for a little bit to get some good info out. Had to brainstorm, think a little. So, so yeah, that that's about about it there. Uh, you you would like to see that, and I would love to show it to you guys. So, we'll. We'll get to it, and so yeah, we'll get to it. All right, guys, just check this out. So I'm on chat GB, excuse me, chat GPT, and look this, look at this. I mean, excuse me, look at this. Is it Gears of War prototype? So I was looking up stuff here. Uh, gaming, because I was getting into game dev, game development, and I had an idea at the back of my head. When looking for a game to re remix type in, to no variations of a project of, then type in the game you're remixing. That is a prop to use it. Shows you templates and assets, combat systems and mechanics, f frameworks for perhaps epic boss battles. This can be copy and paste again and again. This can. This can be copy and paste again and again. And that's exactly what it does. It shows you... um templates and the it shows you frames it shows you all that essays all here a chat gpt so you know it's true you know it's real so yeah i had this idea of gaming like i would like to make a game but you have to get into game dev. 
So you really got to brainstorm. You really got to think about it. Got to check this out. The variations of projects as to attempt this holding in marketplaces like the so they have a marketplace and they sell they sell templates and projects you can buy templates and projects now does that make any sense i can make another video on this if this is really helping you guys because i i get this Benefits of selling variations. Now, speaking of variations, target different audiences. You can pause through this without me and read it yourself. Plungeons and tools. Develop developers may create plungeons or tools that extend asset packs, starter kits, and templates. So say starter kits and templates, marketplace, all there in the marketplace in the Unreal Engine. Do people sell variations of project? Yes, people often sell variations of project. Organizing your projects. It is a good practice to organize your projects. So yeah. So yeah, this is a this is some good stuff here. You can replay this video as much as you want, learn from it, you could even study, a little study it if you'd like to write. And really absorb everything you can learn from this. Saving prototype in Unreal Engine, how to save. Uh, I can save prototypes. Yes, you can save prototypes. Learn from tutorials, explore with tutorials, and leave a comment. Tell me what you think. This is, I think this is great stuff here. I think this is a great discovery, like a light bulb hit, turned on. Search community forums, explore Unreal Engine forums and the communities where developers Show the projects, and I think that's really cool. I think that's really cool. I really want to get on this someday. But check it, check it out for all you guys that are really into it. Check it out. This is all the stuff that's in, in there. Learn from tutorials, export tutorials, and educational resources that cover topics relevant to creating And so and so. Create your own prototype using existing Unreal Engine templates or starter projects. You hear that? You can create your own prototype with the already existing templates and projects. Now that's the interesting part. That's the exciting part of this, the whole thing of this thing. Of That's the existing prototype. Once you have downloaded a prototype, you can modify gameplay. So you can modify. So to download and use prototypes using the Epic Games Launcher, open the Epic Game Launcher, go to the Marketplace, or Learn tab. A lot of informative information here. You can pause or you can copy the the questions. But go along with this video with me. Don't don't leave me hanging. Watch the whole video till finish. Because I put the, the idea in. 
Unreal Engine Marketplace. Only got two more minutes left. Can I download already made prototypes? So I was asking questions, but I was really trying to get that refined question, polished question, which we have already gone through, I think, but it's good to know how. It's good to know how did that even come about. Use blueprints for rapid prototyping. Here, it says rap. It says use blueprints for rapid prototyping. That means quick. You can make it quick, fast, rapid prototyping. Prototyping. Oh, but prototyping. You can use blueprints, huh? You see, it's all in the market though. It doesn't have to be slow. You don't have to start super slow. It's like one of the main points here. And like put in years and years, you could just put in some months and make a cool game. I'm sure you you seen somewhere there said how to make call it a game like Call of Duty or something like that, or how to make a game like Gears of War. How how to something something along like that, and it said uh you you can find variations in the marketplace. People have created. And don't forget to leave a, a like and a subscribe. Thank you guys. Peace.